What up guys, today I wanna to explore the difference between two website building platforms, Webflow and Squarespace. Now I realize this might come off a little bit funny since Webflow are the sponsors of my website, so you might think that I'm biased, but because I am a designer and I work with many different clients who each want to work on a different platform, I had the experience of working with both. And I do think that, you know, not every platform fits everybody. So I don't think that Webflow is the solution for everybody. I think it depends on what you need and who you are. And in this video, I want to share kind of the two platforms, what are the pros and cons and uh, try to help you make a better decision when you are choosing a platform to build your website on. So for those of you who don't know, let me just show you. Uh, Squarespace, if you don't know, it's, uh, I would call it like a Wix competitor, but a really nice Wix competitor. So they have branded themselves really high level, like upscale website for maybe artists and, and artisans. Everything looks really, really amazing. They have super nice templates and typography. Basically, I'm in love with their brand. I think branding wise, they did an amazing, amazing work. And also kind of the platform is really well designed. So I like it. I like what they did. Um, Webflow, if you don't know it, it's actually, I wouldn't even call it a Wix competitor. I would maybe call it like Sketch for the web because this is a like a totally a design and development tool that allows you to really uh, create visually you actually code without knowing how to code um, so this is a much more I would call it design and development platform rather than uh, a website building for for dummies or for consumers I would say so those are the two platforms now let me start off at the end with the bottom line I know you guys are busy and maybe you don't want to stay for the whole thing so let me just come off and give my recommendation up front and then I will explore a little bit more in depth. So for me, I think that Squarespace is a really, really good solution if you do not really know how to design and control the web and you just want to pick a super, super beautiful and good looking template and change it to your, change the content to your business or, or the website that you need. If you do not need to make like structural and design changes to your website, then Squarespace can be a really good solution for you. It's kind of a no brainer. You don't have to learn anything and it can be a really good solution. If on the other hand, you are a designer and you are looking to implement your vision and, and build a design that you have already designed. So maybe not really start from, from a template, but implement a design that you have designed in sketch or on paper or somewhere, somewhere else, then actually I think that Webflow is the right solution for you. Actually Squarespace, you can't even start from scratch. You have to start from a template and in order to adjust that template to your design would be really a hassle and actually you might need some custom code for that. And so I think that even if you wanna start from a template because Webflow, as I'll show you in a minute, does have templates to get you started. If you wanna make adjustment to the template, it will be much, much easier to do on Webflow rather than on Squarespace. So again, in short, if you're not a designer, if you just wanna take something beautiful, replace the content and have a beautiful website ready super fast, you go with Squarespace. If you wanna adjust the design, if you wanna create something that's a, a little bit more custom to your needs, to your design, if you wanna make even small, I would say, uh, structural changes to your website, you definitely need to go with Webflow. Now, let's dive inside those platforms and I wanna show you how some things which you might think are might very, very simple to do uh, are maybe very simple in one platform but not in the other. So, um, let me take you into Squarespace um, and I, I will just create a website. So, um, let me try and create a portfolio website. So as you see, when you create a website on Squarespace, you can't even get started from a blank. You have to start from a template. Uh, and they do have lots of categories. And as I said, the templates looks pretty good. So let me look for a portfolio. All right, I'm gonna go with a really simple portfolio template. Um, not very far from the one I reviewed last week. So it'll be a good good idea to see how you can build a, a portfolio really quick. So when you start with, with Squarespace template, they kind of ask you for a few questions to customize your website. So let me call that um, run 
Segal's portfolio. Um, let me write a description. I'm a designer living and working in Tel Aviv, Israel. All right, done. Let's see what it gives us. All right, so basically what I have here, I think I have a preview on the right and some kind of a navigation on the left. And portfolio looks pretty solid. I guess I can change the work. But um, let me see, if I want to change the, the headline here, I can not just double click it, which is what I initially try to do. I have to click edit. And then I don't edit it here. I have to go on the left here and edit uh, here, runs work. And then tagline, let's say uh, full stack designer. Now I have to save it and only then it will update. Um, all right, so that's the first thing. I can't edit in line and I have to edit here in the editor. Um, next thing that I want to do, I want to do something that is really, really simple. As I've mentioned in my portfolio review, I always like to have a contact button here. Um, so I actually need a button here, but if I do edit navigation, I get to the whole um, this is the whole navigation. So I have works here and many works, uh, pages for the works. I have a blog and I have an about page. But I don't want to add a contact page. I just want to add a link that sends to my, uh, that sends to my email. But I actually don't know how to do this or even if it's possible because all I have to do is add a page. And I don't really want to add a page. I just want to add a simple link. And I have here not linked, which is pages which are not. So doing something super, super simple as adding a link here becomes very, very uh, difficult or rather, I would say, impossible. So that's that's one thing. Let, let's see how we work in Webflow. So let me start a new project on Webflow. And on Webflow, I can start from scratch and just build whatever I want. But let's go here uh, to a free template and choose... Um, a portfolio. All right, I have a portfolio here that looks rather similar. So let's get started with that. Okay, so now I'm in the Webflow editor. As you can see, template is not very different. Um, but if I want to change here the title, let me just double click it and then right here inside run segals portfolio portfolio so as you can see here editing is really in in line and in general here I, I every element is actually a web element so if I have a navigation link here I can just copy paste it to create a new one and double click it to create contact so now I have just another link here in the menu and by going to the setting I can just set it up by default it's going to a page which is what Squarespace does but here I have some more options like an email which is what I wanted so I can put my email here um, and now clicking on the link will just go to uh, portfolio request it will just pop up an email for me which is what I wanted to do so let's go into, for example, uh, a page showing one of my works. So I guess those are those are pretty similar. Um, let's go in here. Okay, let's go inside here. Yeah. So basically, we have some images and then some text. But in Webflow, the text here is just I can add a text if I want to say let's I want to add a category here so I want this to be uh, UX design because this is what I did on this project and so I can come up and style this exactly how I want change the font and the size of this title um, while here if I want to add text here see how I do this I don't even know how to do this um, so I can't click on it. There is no edit. So maybe I have to go to page and click on the page demo. Okay, so this is where Squarespace becomes a little bit not intuitive. Okay, 
So I had to click on the page settings and then I have a title here and a page title and the description, but I can't add another kind of like tag. Can maybe add a line here, UX design and make it bold, but it's not like I have, let me save this. All right, so it did what I wanted, but I don't really have design control over that right now. And for some reason, it also deleted my images, so I don't know why. But I guess you, you can see my point. If you wanna stick to the template and just edit the text and the images, I guess you can stay with Squarespace and it will look pretty good and it, you don't have to learn anything. But once you wanna start adding a little bit of text, changing the structure a little bit, or touching the design, uh, then it's much, much easier to do it on Webflow. Now, it has to be said that when you are working with Webflow, you have to understand how the web works. So you have to know what CSS styles are, uh, and, and there is a little bit more of a learning curve. And that's why I said that if you are a designer, if you understand how the web works, if you understand uh, the, con the concepts of, you know, what is CSS, what is styling, which you probably do know if you're working with any design software like, you know, Sketch, design Photoshop then you know what styles are but if you are let's say a consumer if, if you are a musician you don't know nothing about design you don't know nothing about the web you just want to create a great looking website then probably Squarespace is the easier place for you to go uh, to go and um, yeah it'll probably be easier for you so again I think you have to choose the platform based on your own needs and your current knowledge and how much you want to invest in that if you are a designer, I suggest you do make the investment in kind of going through the learning curve in Webflow so that, you know, next time it will be super easier for you to do. All right. Hope this was helpful for at least some of you guys. <laughs> um, have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow.